States that in every single generation, starting with Egypt, which was the first Holocaust, millions of Jews were murdered during the Egyptian bondage. Starting way back from 3,500 years ago, every single place that we go, in every single country that we go, whether it's the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Romans, the Persians, you take it all the way down to persecutions of the Inquisitions and the Crusades, they're always trying to kill us. It's not a new thing. Today we have people denying the Holocaust, and we have people sitting in the room here today who, who lived through the Holocaust, and you have people at the same time denying such a thing. So it's very hard to relate to something that happened thousands of years ago. So we walked in to remember the Holocaust. We're still here. They tried every single generation to rise up against us, but we're still here. And we still carry that mission. And not only are we still here, we're here better than ever before. In the Torah, there's actually a commandment that talks about not forgetting when, when those who rose up against us try to destroy us. It says the following thing. It says, you shall remember and never forget. If we're still around and we keep being despite all that's brought against us, we're still around. What is it that's driving us? What is our mission? What is our destiny? It's worth educating ourselves, it's worth investigating. And when you do that, you, want to, you get to see this beautiful idea that the Jewish people are eternal. This concept of Am Yisrael Chai. Not forgetting is an additional commandment to take some action. It's not just a thought, it's to take the action. Today, there's no question that there was some action taken marching, talking about it, actively engaging people who live through these things. It's not just a thought that is very fleeting and within a couple of years disappears. So we have the obligation to remember and never to forget to do that.